What if you could make anxiety disappear? What if we can make learning disabilities just poof, disappear? Now, this kind of stuff may seem magical to you. Like, how is that possible? Except there's a patient of mine that literally just experienced that. Within three months, this child who was highly anxious, had a learning disability, struggling to learn, three months later was transformed literally into a different human being. So what's the story about this child? We'll say his name is Sebastian. We'll say he's seven years of age. You know, as always, I make all of this up to protect the child's identity. But when Sebastian first came to see me, the first and primary issue that the parents were concerned about was this weird learning disability that Sebastian had. He was retaining nothing, not, not that seven-year-olds have to retain a lot, but he was retaining nothing, hated going to school. Every night, parents basically were fighting him tooth and nail to do the homework that he was given. And they were like, he's learning disabled. We don't know what the hell is going on. Like he just, you know, Sebastian, what'd you learn in school? I don't know. Sebastian, let's sit down and do the work. I don't want to do homework. So they're like, is, is he delayed? Like, what's going on? Except he wasn't. He was actually a really intelligent kid. But Sebastian's story wasn't just about the learning issues. He was also highly, 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 highly anxious. I'm talking like barnacle child anxious where he would not leave the parent's side. Seven-year-old. Couldn't take him to the store. Hated going to the park. He was essentially a loner at school. And everything was just overwhelming. Everything would set him off. Everything would cause him to get upset. Now, we think that these things are just the way they are. That some kids are just learning disabled. That some kids are just anxious. And this is just their lot in life. What does that mean? What does that mean? This is their lot in life. You know, if this was 50 years ago, I'd, I'd buy that. Because you know what? 50 years ago, we didn't know squat about anything. And it's not that we know a whole lot about everything, but we've certainly come a long way in 50 years. The reason why this poor kid was struggling because was because he had actual imbalances in his system. Even though he was working with an occupational therapist, it turns out that the way this kid processed sound was distorted. Every time this kid would go into a crowded space, he would freak out. Why? Because the sound was overwhelming to him. He couldn't learn because he literally was not making sense of the words that were landing in his brain. Mom would have to repeat herself 15 times. And this is one telltale sign that this exists. It's a very specific sign. Parents are like, yeah, I have to keep repeating myself and I have to keep repeating myself and I have to keep repeating myself because he just doesn't understand. You're, yeah, he, he actually doesn't understand the sound that you're trying to pass on to him. Especially when things get loud, when the environment gets loud, when there's too many people talking, no one's home. I mean, someone is home. The kid is there. They literally can't process the sound because there's just too much going on. These kids hate audiobooks, and this was one thing specifically for this guy because he was listening, but he, he couldn't make sense of it, and he would get frustrated. So what do we do? We actually plugged him into this system called ILS, Integrated, Integrated Listening Systems, I believe. No affiliation with them. We plugged him into this system and found the therapist in their neighborhood, and they're all over the country, that literally checked his sound, and the therapist is like, He's a mess. Started the system two and a half months later. I kid you not. Two and a half months later, same kid who was freaking out because there was too much sound could suddenly tolerate the noise in the environment. Two and a half months later, this learning disabled kid was no longer disabled. He was enjoying learning. The teachers were like, what is going on? Like, He's not only focused and present, but he's also actually absorbing the information. He went from basically bottom of the class to suddenly the top because now his intelligence was actually showing itself. For the first time in his life, he would actually listen to audiobooks and enjoyed it because now he was actually making sense of what those words and sounds were. Mom is like, yeah, I don't have to repeat myself a million times. I tell him like, go to your room, go do this, blah, blah, blah. He does it. Why? Because he's now understanding what mom is telling him. These things are possible. And this is not the first time I've seen it. 
This is not the 10th time I've seen it. These things are possible. But there was more to Sebastian than this. This poor kid's metabolic system was shot. He was tired all the time. His body was lethargic. He didn't want to move. Why? Because his mitochondria weren't functioning. He wasn't able to produce energy. He was eating food. But that food wasn't turning into energy. We gave him a metabolic cocktail, this thing called neuro needs, no affiliation with them. We gave him this supplement, this vitamin combination. All of a sudden, his energy started coming up. He was happier. Why? Because he felt better. He wasn't chronically fatigued. Imagine being chronically fatigued essentially your entire life. How would that feel? Would you want to smile? Would you be happy? No, everything would drive you nuts because you're constantly tired. We changed that. We gave him energy. We gave him vitality through these supplements and this kid was happy. The parents were like, oh my God, he's jumping off the couch. He almost hurt himself because he's doing these things he's never done before. Why? Because he suddenly can. And he was working with an occupational therapist and they were helping to integrate him further. And the OTs are like, oh my God, in two months, he's made more change in the last year. Why? Because he can actually do that. There's so much healing that is possible when you understand what is needed to help that child. And that is one thing that's missing from our conversation. Because right now it's like fix the gut, detox, everything gets better for everyone. And I love those tools, don't get me wrong. Treating the gut, treating the diet, helping the bacteria balance, detoxing the system, totally important. But that's not the thing for everyone. Had we missed these aud this auditory processing for Sebastian, had we missed the metabolic issue for Sebastian, you could have treated his gut up the wazoo, he would still be struggling. I hope that these conversations, this information can land to the right people and help empower parents everywhere to know that at least these tools exist, to know at least this type of healing is possible. And that only becomes possible if you help me get this message out, that you help me connect with more people so parents everywhere can know that these things exist. Because you know what? This ILS program is everywhere. And it costs a little bit of money, but considering what it does for the child for the rest of their life, Imagine this kid who couldn't learn can now learn and has that ability to take with him for the rest of his life. What kind of trajectory change can we make for hundreds of thousands of kids if only we help parents realize that these things are out there? And I have no affiliation with them and I don't care to have affiliations with them because I don't want to be here selling you stuff. I just want you to know that there's good information that you can tap into that can literally help change perhaps your own life, because maybe this isn't your kid. This may be you. This may be your spouse. This may be your neighbor. It may be your family member. These people are all around us. And we just say, well, this is their lot. This is just how they are. Why? Let's make a difference. Let's change this conversation. Let's bring a hell of a lot of awareness into this world. And let's do it together. Thank you for watching. This is Dr. K.